Hello everybody, Poison Knight here. We are back at it again in Stone Sharp Permadeath with Jorgen and the Maces. Now in that last episode, we did take on the Crypt in Osbrook, and it was not that good. And then we took on the Crypt in Manshire, and it was a little better. Could be better. The loot wasn't so good, but at least the fighting was kind of okay. After looking back at it, it was like, eh, okay, yeah, fine. But anywho, we got some stuffs to still, still sell here. For example and the books so let's grab all this and then let's get these go through here and get that and we can also get the uh, salad I was thinking about using it in the troll fight since it's actually one of the better things to use but in the end nah, I don't think I need it do need to get some water though because I am getting dehydrated so we're probably gonna have to either buy it from him or just get it from the inn but first let's sell all these books oh we had to get a bag whoops and let's oh mace book well that's a third one and that's wait they wait oh mace 2 and mace they look so identical though but you know what? I'll, I'll, uh, yeah, let's take that. Sell these, sell the rest of the stuff. And then I think after we sell the rest of our stuff and complete the quest, we can get the Mace Book 3, which is fantastic. Let's get a map real quick. But yeah, it'll be fantastic. Uh, let's go back. And then let's buy a drink. Because we're thirsty. Let's first bag the rest of the coins. Because we might need the inventory space. There we go. Oh, wait. Go through here. Move this, all this aside. And grab the rest of this. Put the potion back. Okay, do we have anything here? No. So, yeah, okay, sell the rest of the stuff. And I think after we sell the rest of the stuff, we can get the Mace Book 3. Which again, this is, this is awesome. <laughs> I just randomly, okay, randomly got the second and the third book. And it didn't even look like the th second book or the third book. They both look really identical. But whatever the case may be, this came out pretty well, so yeah. Those, I think the merchant buys tooth better. No, they buy it the same, but it doesn't matter. And then I know the crossbow guy there sells it better, so this is the third book. Now we got that. We can sell you, merge this, and then let's go over here and uh, sell the crossbow. And then before I forget, because I actually forgot until I just remembered, the sword. Nice fancy sword and all, but uh, not the kind of sword we want, because we're not using this. But anywho, let's repair, right? Yeah. A little repair. I oh, could use it too, but I don't think we're, we need it for the next dungeon. Uh, okay, lockpick. Our gold, but we do gotta put this away. And then right after that... Right after we put this away... Uh, Anytime, right after this, we're gonna head over to the medical area, or the church, I should say. And actually, we'll get a fatty steak and a ham. But let's go to the church, supply up. Probably should have bought a meat too, but I think I'll be okay without it. I think. I'll probably get an extra herbal abstract and an antitoxin. So. Oh, he doesn't sell herbal abstracts. Okay, never mind. 
So let's just grab three of these, two leeches, an inhaler, and an antitoxin. I think this setup will be fine. Oh, and splints. Forgot about those. Okay. Um, I think that's about it, right? Yeah. Okay. Now then, let's get the armor break, because now we have the mace complete. Then we're going to get respite right afterwards, followed up with moment of weakness and concussion. All right. That's good. Now then. Where is this? Well, let me get the quest real quick, just to make sure it's not a, oh, get some quest item thing. Mysterious disappearance, it's a kill thing. And our dungeon's here. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do first, because of my last experience doing this dungeon, and not being very long, we're going to go through here, this point of interest first, followed up with passing by through here to just to get some kills. Although I think this is the um, the other bandit dungeon. So we're not going to be facing like seven people, but more like three people. And then we go through here, followed up with this, and then there. Yeah, I think uh, I think that's our game plan. Alright, yeah, that's yeah, that's our game plan. Okay. Full up on water and let's get this party started. Straight up was the first one. Oh, there's no road. Gross. Yep, no road. Not sure why they do that, but whatever. I was hoping I could get some ambush and uh, some flea warts in the process, but that's okay. Come on. Um, I think this might be an actual point of interest. Yeah, this has to be an actual thing. I don't know what it is, but it is. Okay. The leprosy area. Leprosylum. Okay. Bunch of rags. Yeah, I guess it sells okay, but I'm probably gonna end up dropping it real soon. That. I generally hope that the devs make this area into like a unique area. I mean, I, I mean, I guess it's unique in a way, but what I mean by that is like they turn this area to be more hostile, dangerous. Because for an area that has like a subtle song like this, for a bunch of like dead corpses outside, and for the story to be saying like, oh, I was pretty much sent here to die. Like, dang, man. That's, uh, <laughs> that's some hardcore stuff. But anywho, um, I could just toss the one, and let me just, I'll just eat this instead. Man, pretty hardcore stuff. Uh, let's see. No. Doesn't seem like there's anything else here I'd really want to grab. Well, actually, there's one, two things to check. Here. No. And here. Uh, run onion. Yo, Beardo, I, I don't think they appreciate your onions in here. Damn, man. What a shame. Alright, well, anywho, let's uh, keep going around. We can go from one, two, three, four. So on the second one, we will be finding some bandits, probably, followed up with the fourth one being a point of interest. Hopefully a good one, but a point of interest nonetheless. Keep going. No, I don't I don't have space for any more flea warts. That's fine though. So we're here right now. 
And then let's see if we can get something nice out of this spot. Not gonna happen. Closely. Huh? Where are they? Are they going vacation or something? Um. Huh. Okay. That's a little random. I was kind of expecting a small group at the very least to be waiting outside, but sure, why not? You know something, now that I'm looking at my build, my items and everything, I remember like about two or three months ago, once Bolt Thrower came out specifically, I remember dual wielding was really, really underappreciated. Like not a lot of people liked the um, tree for some reason, but I remember I loved the tree like ever since it came out. And I was like, so like, encouraged by it i was like okay maybe we should make a um make a uh dual wielding montage just to try to show people oh hey this is an awesome tree but i never came around it until like recently but then now everyone's talking about like dual wielding again and everyone's actually playing it and they're having a good time with it too or at least it it's what it sounds like to me anyways but still I kind of like how everyone's uh, playing dual wielding now, or at least a lot of us are playing dual wielding, and it's great. It's great to see it. I don't know. I I like seeing it that way. It's a fun. It's a fun thing to play. I want to get that cooked carp and eat it. Toxin, and this campsite is bad. Bad campsite. Okay. Barrel and all this stuff. Nothing here I'd really want. So, yeah, we'll move on. So now we're here. Let's go down. And actually, let's uh, fix ourselves up while we're at it. Okay. Now we're gonna go straight down, go through that campsite, and uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay, Spear Boy. Yes. Gross. Ring. Uh, it's all garbage. Let's heal up. Because we did take a little bit of damage from that. Bisons. Huh. They're not exactly a fight I want to underestimate. Only because they have so much health. And they're actually fairly accurate, too. I'm not sure if I want to trust this. What's their control resistance? They have a bit of move resistance, but not a lot of control. And it seems like only one of them wants to kill me. So let me see how this turns out. Come on. There we go. Bring you away a little bit. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna make it. Cool. I'll take the bison horns at the very least. Um. Yeah. Yeah. We'll just leave it there. Besides, actually, let me. How much experience did I even get out of that? 20 EXP? Alright, good to know. Never fighting that again. 
That's kind of a waste of time. And the bison pelt is just too big for me to like really try to maneuver and sell without spending like an extra hour walking around. So I'm not going to really bother doing that either. Wait, where am I? Oh, okay, I'm here. So that means the next one should be there. I thought it was at the end, but I guess not. Come on, come on. A lot of walking around to do. There we go. Cool. I think the only concern about for that moment right there was the uh, dagger guy because he can do a quick amount of damage in one shot but after that yeah <laughs> that's not really a fight um i could just get rid of this i guess it doesn't sell well and uh we have something better okay slants one if i remember correctly Yes, snipe once. A lot of uh, tier 2.0s. Okay. It's getting dark. But we should be at the dungeon, and by the time we're done with the dungeon, it actually should be morning. So, it's nice. Golden Tooth. Nope. Nope. I wonder if the devs are going to do something where if you get a, a sheath, like the sword sheath that I just found, and if you use a sword on it, it would act as... Oh! It would act as like if you're holding the sword in the sheath, so it counts for less uh, inventory space. That would be kind of nice. What's up? Militia, militia flail. Oh, so that's where you get these suckers. Okay. All right. Well, um, I remember I was asking about that. Um, some time ago. I don't remember what episode it was, but I remember I was asking, where do you find this? Because remember, these were everywhere in some dungeon. But I guess you can find them in the uh, in the uh, chapel dungeons or where the vampires are. Okay, let's not step there. Uh, come on, come on. Look around. Wait, actually, let's look around down here real quick. And we're good. Or not good, but we, we looked around. Okay. Nope. Fancy. Do wielding. Uh, well, I guess we could just get these out of here. For that. I still think the book might sell better. Okay, we don't want to lose that. Eh, we could just toss that. Okay. Cupboard, cupboard, blah blah blah, nothing here. Wardrobe, militia flail, shelf. No. A shelf. A shelf. Somebody found a reinforced axe on a shelf. There are dreams out there, and that kid managed to get that kind of dream, while everybody else is struggling to find something about as close as good as that. And he finds a, the best axe on a shelf. 
Let that sit. Let that sit down for a second in your minds. And sheesh, man. Respect the shelves from now on. <laughs> All right. Step back. Well, we already stepped back. We could go up here. That would be fine. How is he still attacking when I'm stunning him? Do you even range that? No, you don't. You just debuff. Never mind. Unidentified and conquer conjured stuff. I remember that wasn't selling well, but the unidentified is something I want 100%. Let's get that out. Since I have leeches, it's it could, leeches still help uh, healing body parts just as well as a uh, splint, especially since the sp um, it doesn't suffer that negated um, effect that a salve has. Which, if I heal a injured body part, the effectiveness is reduced. Oh, this is a boss room, for sure. Right here. There we go. Actually, there we go. And we got some company. Okay. Just wait a sec. A witch, a wizard, or whatever. Okay. I'm pretty sure the boss heard all of that, so I'm just gonna, yeah, step back real quick. And wait this out. Oh, I should have put this on. It increases my healing at fish. I completely forgot about this. Darn it. Um. Well, I am fighting the boss, and I don't think I'll be able to stun it so easily, so, uh... Yeah. Oh. We are uh, in pain. Let's wait that out for a bit. We have increased fumble chance, more weapon damage, a lot of pain resistance, and pain limit has gone drastically down. But, uh, nah. Sounds nice, not that nice enough. There was another enemy there. Ew. Keep going. That might be an annoying fight. Man. Whatever. Nicely done. Enchantment scroll, unidentified, reinforced staff, and what is this? Oh. And you're not cursed. Good. I took that chance. Because honestly, if it was a uh, normal, that would have made me sad. Okay. Oh. Oh, we gotta repair you. Okay. I'm not sure if. The mask made a difference, but at least I can say I didn't try. At least I can say that. Reinforce stuff, unidentified. We gotta fit that in there somehow. Um, dropping this for the potion. And now we want to get the enchantment scroll. I guess we can eat after we level. Yeah, let's eat this. I'll get that 
loss of dodge, but I don't think there's a bit of fighting where I'm going right now. Cool. Uh, bandages go. And is that all? Yeah. It looks like that's all in this particular room. So uh, let's look around a little bit more, maybe find a shelf or wardrobe. Come on. Knock him back, finish him off. Militia Flail, but it's not enchanted, so I'm not gonna really grab it. And uh, yeah, let's keep going. Sword Boy, he's not that good. There we go. Battle Cleaver. Good drop. Ooh, beads. Um, hmm, okay. Uh, we want to replace... and yeah, we'll just screw it. We'll just eat that. The beads sell, I think if I remember correctly, they almost had a 300 value. Yeah, well, 250, but pretty good. Um, anything here? Yes. So, the second part of the evasion only triggers when uh, I hit him. So I'm not going to hit him. And now he doesn't get it. There we go. Did I cheat that one? Probably. But does it pay to know what you're fighting? Yeah, yeah it does. And besides, uh, I can't hit him anyways when he freshly uses that. It kind of like, it works like our evasion, so... Oh, he's dazed. He's screwed. But yeah, it works like our evasion. If we use evasion and successfully dodge an attack, we get like a part two of it, where we get some lingering dodge. So, uh, yeah. Something to, uh, something to know. Other than that, it doesn't seem like there's going to be anything else in here. Or we've got to look there, but it doesn't seem like there's going to be anything else. What's up? That's a shiv, that's not good. Wardrobe. Nothing here. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's uh that's it I guess. I do wonder what I got for my enchantment though, so I think I will buy a uh, identifying potion potion. Identifying um oh I never did this. Identifying um scroll. Jeez, why was I struggling on that? Actually, wait, 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 wait. This room. And this room. Nope. Maybe that room too. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I gotta I gotta detect more often because again I'm so not used to it, so the fact that they implemented like a secret room thing is like ugh. That's one more habit I gotta, like, evolve into. Okay. Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, let's start heading back, I guess. We're here, so we go one, one, two, three. Okay. This is our first one. Maybe we'll encounter some bandits and stuff that actually gives more EXP than a bison ever would. 20 EXP? Are you kidding me? Those aren't exactly easy fights, and they do a pretty fair amount of damage for a pseudo bear. And I'm only getting 20 EXP? I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright. 
let's keep going so yeah on the next episode we will be going through the bandit dungeon I guess at this point we're just gonna keep going with dungeons until we hit level 9 and then we're gonna face the troll on trade because I'm sure I have some things to get to him like the books right yeah 60 gold okay I think I sell this to um well I would sell it to the leather guy but there is no leather guy here actually he's our closest leather guy but oh he can buy it okay 73 44 okay no 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 buys it better I repair my stuff Could sell this to him, sell that. No sp Oh, I could have gone to reinforce staff. Whoops. Didn't realize that part. Uh, let's get this. Let's get that identifying potion. Potion? Why am I saying potion? Identifying scroll. And I actually get three of them. One, two, three. Dodge chance. Darn it. I actually might hold this off. I actually might hold on to this for a while. <laughs> Purification and uh, deadliness. Ooh, that. That's actually going to be super important later. Alright. Let's see. Let's take our reward. And uh, we're going to finish selling the rest of this stuff, storing all this stuff. And yeah, I think that'll be the end of our episode. So yeah, let's store up this stuff. We got to get some more identification scrolls, set this aside. I think I'll do a little bit of preset up for the next episode. So just so we can get straight into the dungeon. And yeah, I think I'll be seeing you guys next time. Peace.